opportunity for, for you? Not a great opportunity. I, I think not just for me, for our whole staff. Um, summer, summer League is um, a fun time for everyone. Players especially. Um, a guy like Keegan, I made him sit in Fox's seat and film. You know, a guy like me, I've never, never been a head coach before. Super excited. Um, we got player development coach um, running our, our offense. Um, Dutch is running our defense, so great opportunity. Keegan, first team rookie, started for a playoff team, accomplished a lot his first season. What, what's it mean to have him here? And he mentioned sort of it being a, a culture shift, like him trying to impart that on, on some of the younger guys. What, what, what's that mean for the organization? Yeah, th I think it's huge. Um, first and foremost, that, that he wants to be here. He could be anywhere. Like you said, all rookie. He could be you know, back home working out. He, he wants to play um, and he wants to get better. I think the whole organization um, knows he's going to have to take a next step for us to take a next step. Um, so he's he's here doing it. What's kind of the plan for him? I imagine he's not going to be in every game. He's right? going to play eight, nine games straight. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, for sure, the, the California Classic games. Uh, we'll see about Vegas. Uh, we're going to start there and see how it goes. But keeping him around, like, the camp and the... And the oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's... What's, what's been really cool outside of just playing summer league, um, he's been hopping in almost every one of, of Fox's workouts. Um, so working hard, doing a really good job. So he was playing Fox one-on-one -on -one a bunch this summer. Did you get a chance to watch that? <laughs> yeah, I got a chance to, to, to help him out. Um, it, it, Keegan emotionally has taken a huge step, um, and, and we're going to need him too. I think Fox has done an unbelievable job being a big brother to him, um, and those two working together. To me, it's pretty special. Well, how much does chemistry like that just translate into the regular season when you see something like that during the summer? Oh, it's huge. Um, and, and not just those two. We've had a ton of guys in the gym. Uh, we, have, we have guys all over the place. We had a, a, a couple good gatherings of guys just coming into town, getting good working together. Uh, but starting with our key core guys, those guys working together uh, on the court and then off the court, like I know they, they want to play pickleball together and want to get lunch together. And I think... For, for us to take the next step as a team, it's going to start with our chemistry. And we, we had a pretty good year um, with that last year. Um, and I think it can just take another step. When you say Keegan's taking a big step emotionally, what, what does that mean? He's finding his voice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Mike, Mike said the other day, it, uh, it reminds us a little bit. <coughs> excuse me. It reminds us a little bit of Clay. Um, Clay is his rookie. I wasn't there. Clay, his rookie season, barely spoke. Um, and then all of a sudden, he got comfortable on the court, and then he started finding his voice. Um, and part of it is, is us as a staff and his teammates making him find his voice. Part of it is just that natural progression of, of him uh, being comfortable, um, not only speaking, but leading. What's kind of like, I don't know if there's identifying a biggest challenge as you kind of get this thing going. A lot of guys that don't know each other, but certainly there's familiarity for some guys. For you, what kind of becomes the biggest challenge in kind of making that all work? I think it's, it's such a time crunch, right? Um, we, we, we have two, three, four practices before our first game. It, it reminds me a little bit of, of a national team uh, with, with the Nigerian team with Mike. You have like a couple of weeks to get everything in. <clears throat> and, and you feel like there's not enough time to get it all in. Um, the, the biggest thing for us is to take our, our staples on both sides of the ball and then our values um, that, that apply on the court and off the court and make the guys feel that. It's, it's, it's summer league. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, there, there's there's going to be a lot of mistakes. Uh, it's going to be a sloppy brand of basketball. But if they embrace um, our, our key values and staples, we're laying a foundation for the next season. And, and that's the most important thing for me, for guys like Keon, Kessler, Keegan, um, and, and our new guys, you know, Colby and, and Jalen, um, for, for them to feel what we're about, our habits every day, I think it's, it's invaluable for them to be here and go through this. Well, where can Kessler improve specifically to, to you know, evolve and, and potentially earn a more stable rotation spot? Yeah, I think, I think Kessler has a, has a few things that you can't teach. He has, he has size um, and he can guard. Uh, so, so bringing those things to the table for us, super valuable because those are things we need. Um, Kessler's been in the gym almost every day. It's, it's been a continuation of Fox, Keegan, Kessler, and, and a few other guys. Um, and for those guys to be around each other and, and work on aspects of the game that they need to improve, the, the catch and shoots, um, the confidence, uh, the, the catch and attack, quick decisions. Um, but, but most importantly, for Keegan to guard Fox, for Fox to guard Kessler, for those guys to feel each other and, and, and take little things from each other, 
um, again, I think these guys have been doing a heck of a job. You're putting you're putting Keegan in kind of different scenarios on the court as well. As, like you mentioned, putting him in Fox's seat in film. Does that translate on the court too? Do you try to put him in different looks? Yeah, absolutely. And he he was uh, he was a big part of our our summer league last year. Obviously, MVP. Um, again, for for us to take the next step. There's, there's a lot of pressure, and it's good pressure to me, a lot of pressure for him to take a next step. Um, it's going to start with this team. Um, again, just, just being a leader, finding your voice, but then showing your teammates how to work and what we're about. Um, I think for the first day, he's, he's done a great job. Thank you, guys. You got it. Appreciate